Welcome back. This video is about how I successfully created my own electric scooter. I've been playing around with a tiny electric motor I had and had medium success in getting a scooter to run, but it just wasn't cutting it. The last scooter was an X scooter with solid wheels. And while it rolled really well and had little resistance, it was as hard as rock. So I put in an order for a more suitable motor and speed controller and this is what I come up with. I was given an old Malvern Star scooter that pump up tyres and this was the perfect platform. The pump up tyres had more resistance but I had the power to cover that. So I finally splashed out and stepped up on the little motor, motors that I've been playing around with trying to make work for so long something decent <laughs> I think this should make a difference the motor I chose was Eternity AeroDrive series you can find the details below in the description this motor was a 280kV motor which was perfect for the direct drive I was using I was after the slowest turning motor per volt I could find. I 3D printed the drive unit in ABS plastic. The beauty of the printer is you can custom make everything. I printed a number of different sized rollers until I came up with the right gearing. There's a roller bearing that snap fits into the end of the roller and the spring tension was adjusted until there was no slip. I had two batteries, each 5000 mAh three cell lipos. This gave the scooter a range of about eight kilometers on the flat, which was pretty good considering. And there's plenty of room for more batteries. For a throttle I used a servo tester. It wasn't ideal but it worked. clicking you can hear is the plastic pulley, it's not part of the drive. Right. I think they should propel us. As you can see the wheel's not round, but it didn't affect the performance. Really well. I even had to play around with solar charging. The two 10 watt panels, four hours in the sunshine, half charged the battery. This experiment was a real success. There's a lot of different performance options depending on how you hook up your batteries. Leave a comment if you've got any questions and I'll try and get some more information up on my website. Just check the details below. Thanks for watching.